Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We are looking at chapter 7 today, verses 40 and 43. Let's pick those up. And Jesus answered and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. So he said, Teacher, say it. There was a certain creditor who had two debtors. One owed 500 denarii and the other 50. And when they had nothing with which to repay, he freely forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will he love more? Simon answered and said, I suppose the one whom he forgave more. And he said to him, You have rightly judged. Now, Simon had just previous to this said, uh, This guy must not be the prophet guy that we think he is, because if he was, he would know that this woman is touching him. She's, she's bad news. She's an immoral woman. And he's allowing her to wash his feet and all this. And, uh, you know, he's not a prophet. And so Jesus immediately is going to show him, oh, yes, I am a prophet by asking him this question. And so he has the two. He poses this question, right? Two people are forgiven. They both, they both owe amounts that are extraordinary amounts neither one could ever, ever repay. They're graciously forgiven the entire debt. And then the question, which one will love him more? And then the logical answer, good for Simon, uh, probably the one that was forgiven the most, the one who was forgiven the, the largest amount. And the answer from Jesus is, you have rightly judged. Uh, good job. And then he goes on after this, and, and after this we look at uh, the different things that Jesus lists out. Well, since, by the way, Simon, since I've come in, you know, she's done this, this, and this, and this. You have not done this, 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 or this. Uh, and so there's sort of like a, an insight here for Simon. You know, you, you haven't been uh, particularly excited that I'm here, and here's this woman who's who's you are looking down upon down you're looking down your nose at her but she's been forgiven much because she loved much and so there's an important lesson here for simon and obviously that's an important lesson for you and i how much how much let's speak it fair and honest has jesus forgiven you for how many sins have you been forgiven have you been forgiven six sins or seven or eight sins or is it probably in the tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or, or more? I'm guessing it's a higher number, not a lower number, certainly not in the 8, 9, and 10 range. And so, you know, we should be very thankful for all of Jesus' forgiveness. And let's, let's be thankful in that way. He is gracious to forgive us anything. And we don't need to be measuring up other people. We don't need to be trying to figure out that I'm a better person than that other person. That's not your business, not my business. God alone knows the heart, and he's gracious to forgive the one who owes a lot or the ones that owes, owes a lot even more than the other one. And so if he's gracious to forgive you, uh, be careful who you're looking down on. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for your great spirit of forgiveness and love toward us. Watch over us, help us to be right, completely surrendered, Lord, completely receptive of your forgiveness plan. And Lord, you work on changing our hearts. Please, Lord, receive us and transform us so that we are repentant people who are becoming more and more like Jesus all the time. This, Lord, is what we're praying for this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. That's what I desire. I'm sure that's what you desire. May God's blessing be upon you today as you encourage and even ask God to put in you a greater spirit of thankfulness for his merciful forgiveness of your transgressions. God bless you today.